every little thing, like what does she like to eat, and what kind of, what's her favorite color, and what, what is her favorite ice cream, and where, where did she used to go when she was a teenager, and all of those things, just, it all just made her feel so welcome and comfortable. I came here thinking, oh, I'll find something to complain about, and I'll be out of there in no time, and there's absolutely nothing to complain about. I love it here. Well, I've said many times, it's easy living. You can do what you want to do, when you want to do it. There's so much that you can take advantage of, whether it's exercises or games or meeting, having dinner with your friends, or the best part is the happy hour, too. <laughs> and she immediately responded and said to me, I am not alone. If I was in my house, I would be alone. But here, in my home, I'm not alone. And I don't think anything else has to be said about her life here. That was just... And that's exactly that's how I felt. It came out right away. Immediately. Yeah, I immediately said, I'm, I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Initially, she was a little reluctant because it was something that was new and she had to get used to it. As a matter of fact, I had to get used to the whole situation myself, which was very difficult, uh, as you can imagine. But as time went on and I learned, I got to know the people over there better and we became more familiar with everything, things really started to get better. And Today, my wife is very comfortable over there. This fit her, the beauty of the building, the beauty inside, uh, just fit my arm. It just seemed like the perfect, perfect fit for her at this time in her journey with Alzheimer's. I think just how it, how it has improved our relationship is that um, I can watch her continue to flourish mm -hmm. as my brother does also. Um, and I think that's all we've ever wanted um, for our mother without our father. I'm 76 now, I was 75 when I made the decision. But I did recognize that if I did not make a decision, somebody else eventually would have to make it for me. And I recognized that I would rather do it when I was capable of seriously doing it, cleaning out my house, selling everything. And in the end, I also thought it might be a very unselfish thing to do, having cleaned out houses for parents and grandparents and so on. I know for sure, this is the one thing I know, I made a right decision. It's very clear to me. Key thing to power back, I love so much, they have the equipment to work with. The lifts, the Hoyer lifts, whatever you need, so there's no injury. So that make my job easy for me to do. I love working here. I, I have always have a smile on my face and that is good. And the staff have each other's back. There's a teamwork that make it easy for me, honestly. I love what I do, honestly. It's not like I'm bragging. And I take my job very seriously. I'm an RN here at Powerback. So as far as my education, I um, got my my initial RN license uh, about eight years ago, and I actually just got my bachelor's in nursing uh, about two years ago. I have been here at Powerback uh, since we opened a little little over a year and a half ago, um, so it'll be two years in June. The director of nursing here at Powerback is amazing, and I was really taken with her um, as soon as I had my first interview. She felt a lot more dedicated and a lot more caring than many directors of nursing that in other facilities. I also love the amount of time that I get to spend with the patients. They're here for a little bit longer than they are in the hospital, so I have the opportunity to get to know them a little better. Well, I, I would like the ho whole staff to know how how good they are. Yeah. Uh, really, um, I try I try to tell them, um, and they're very gracious. Uh, but the staff really needs to know that they're really good at what they do, and that comes from some somebody who's who's been in in a lot of rehabs.